So hey guys, it's Starkiller here in another video talking about Pokemon cards, specifically PSA graded Pokemon cards. So what's a low PSA grade card? And should you get them? Let's find out. So by no means am I an expert on PSA graded cards. I've been, you know, getting them for about a year now, but uh, and it, and it is subjective. What's what's a low grade to you? It could be you know, a middle high grade to someone else. Um, but in my opinion, a low grade is anything below a six. So six is about excellent to mint, and then when you get to five, it's excellent, and then once you get lower, it gets the very good, good, and then poor. But there's nothing really wrong with getting low PSA graded cards. At the end of the day, it's up to you. Um, you know, I have a number of low graded cards for example, I'll bring them out here. There's the Gyarados Gold Star. So the number one positive reason for me in getting, personally, in getting low-graded PSA cards is that it's affordable. Uh, here's a Gyarados Gold Star. It's PSA 3. Uh, personally, I think this is a criminal grade for this card. There's no scratches at all on the, the hollow pattern. The only problem is there's a little bit of a crease there, but that's about it. Bit of whitening on the back, but it's a beautiful card. Beautiful card to look at. Nothing really wrong with it, apart from the creases. Um, but yeah, this it's a very affordable card. I got this for a very good deal. You know, and it's just the history of the card for me. So, the number one reason, and probably one of the only reasons to get, you know, lightly played, even ungraded, lightly played cards, you know, heavily played cards. There's a market for them because they're generally affordable. You know, I I don't have mountains of money, and I, if I were to get, I couldn't get a Gyarados Gold Star PSA nine or ten. It's just far too much money. And this one's very aesthetically pleasing to look at. Then on the other spectrum, we have Shadowless Charizard. Um, there's quite a big difference from this. Uh, to the Gyarados Gold Star, as you can see, there's quite a lot of damage on this one, especially on the hollow pattern. So there's an argument that, you know, as a collector, this might not be as pleasing to look at. But the sec this moves on quickly to the second point of this video on, you know, positives and why you can get low graded PSA cards, and it's the history of the card. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of damage on this. Shadowless Charizard. So, for me, it's the history of this card. This is Shadowless Charizard, one of the most iconic, probably the most iconic card in in Pokemon history. At the end of the day, I'd rather have a low graded, lightly played, heavily played Shadowless Charizard than not not have one at all. For example, if you look at if you look online at eBay, there's saw there there was a first edition Shadowless Charizard. It was PSA two, and it was going for upwards of one thousand um, pounds. So they still have their value. You know, here's the the last point: the blue graded cards or ungraded, lightly played, heavily played Pokemon cards. If they're rare, they'll still have their value. So in conclusion, I think it's perfectly fine to have a lower end lower graded PSA Pokemon card or at the end of the day it's up to you if you want to get the card it's perfectly fine as a collector it doesn't really matter as long as you enjoy getting the card of course you'd always want the higher graded card as we can see the shining Mew here which is PSA 9 but honestly it doesn't matter about the number to me both of these cards have so much history to them and they are very, very valuable to me. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it made some sense. Again, I'm not an expert, but uh, give my opinions. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. See you next time.